meet our next team of challengers. <laughs> What is your name, please? My name is Helen Beardsley. My name is Helen Beardsley. My name is Helen Beardsley, Beardsley, Beardsley. Follow along again, panel, with that next envelope. I, Helen Beardsley, have been married to my husband, Frank, for four years. We have 20 children. Perhaps I'd better explain. When I first met Frank, I was a widow with eight children. I have eight. Children. He, a widower, with ten. Ten? We fell in love, got married, and have since had two children of our own. And I don't know why. Despite the precision planning of a mess sergeant, the problems of managing a household of 22 <laughs> present certain singular problems. But then, everybody's got problems. For instance, on an ordinary Saturday shopping trip, our purchases include 60 pounds of oatmeal and 54 pounds of hamburger. <laughs> and use no outside help whatsoever. I don't know why. I have just written a book about my wonderful family. The title comes from a question my son Philip asked when the Beardsleys sat down to their first joint Christmas dinner. He asked, who gets the drumstick? <laughs> Signed, Helen Beardsley. Well, watch first step as to <laughs> Ladies, all claim to be Helen Beardsley. It seems appropriate to start our questioning with Orson B. <laughs> Thank you, but uh, gee, whoever you are, if you ever have a fight with your husband, it's not so bad you can get lost in the crowd, right? <laughs> <laughs> Number three, uh, how, how do you carry home 50 loaves of bread and 14 heads of lettuce and 54 pounds of hamburger? It's a natural talent. Had it since I was a kid. Number one, dear, how many rings around the tub do you have on the end of a <laughs> Saturday night? It must be a little black, right? I'm sure it was messy. Oh. <laughs> Number two, this is terribly personal. <laughs> but with all this expense and all, what does your husband do? He's a navigator. He's mm -hmm. not home. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I'm talking about? Sir, I don't think you've been paying attention. Why? It's warm in here. Today it's warm in here. Uh, you, you say you, number one, you bathe four kids at once. What kind of a bathtub do you have? <laughs> Peggy Cypress that's on the verge of suicide. <laughs> uh, number three, what kind of a house do you live in? Oh, this hat ain't bad. <laughs> I've been a lot worse. Your kids, number two, how, how many sleep in a room? There's only seven. Uh, number one, your kids have a lot of humor because for one to ask who's, who gets the drumstick, does that help raise all these children? <laughs> Shit! Don't get so excited! <laughs> That's funny. Tom Poston. Thank you, but number one, uh, I'll ask you personally, because I have to start with somebody. Uh, you're quite a lovely-looking woman, and to take care of 22, a house full of 22 humans, uh, tell me, do you find it necessary to use uh, an assortment of beauty aids and uh, lotions and balms and unguents and so forth? I got a tough time keeping my hair curled. <laughs> what about you, number two? Uh, yes. <laughs> My golly, isn't that amazing? Number three, you have no help whatsoever. D no. Does your husband pitch in once in a while? <laughs> <laughs> and is he off, uh, often enough to do that for you? Is he? Yes, his hours are afternoons, five days a week. Peggy Cat. Thank you. Number two, uh, does the Navy give you an allowance for each extra child? Oh, oh yes. I'm so glad to hear that. Now, number one, that makes me feel for your son, Philip, about the drumstick. Now, do you make more than one turkey? Why not? Number three, I have a friend who has ten children, and she has a milk machine in her kitchen. Do you have one? I... No, I don't. I advise you to get one now. <laughs> oh, That's it. Time again to vote, so mark your ballots, if you will, panel, at once, without change, without consultation. Just vote now in this wonderful story about a happy large family. <laughs> vote for number one, number two, for number one, number two, or number three. Three and... All marked. Tom, for whom this time? I think I would have been happy to, to, to be in that household with any of those ladies, but I voted for number one. She seemed to have a, a calmness that would be required for that, unless she doesn't like her job. <laughs> Peggy Cat. I voted for number three. Uh, 
Well, she's always smiling, and gee, you'd have to have a great deal of good nature for that. Orson, you're all you're perfectly charming, and it's a wonderful story. I voted for number three because she said her old man gets home at 4.30, and I think that's something that the real one would know. <laughs> because she'd be hiding in the <laughs> bathroom. <laughs> Kitty Carlisle. Well, I voted for number one because it seems to me that she had the most humor, which is really what you would need. <laughs> and when the story was being told, she was smiling on the platform. Very well, it's evenly divided, as you see, with the votes all in and the minds made up. Let's find out now which one of these ladies, in truth, is Helen Beardsley. Will the real Helen Beardsley please stand up? Damn, she was frightened. I'd like to show you the announcement of the wedding of Helen and Frank Beardsley. You'll see it on your monitors and on your sets. And it reads as follows. Michael, Charles, Gregory, Rosemary, Louise, Mary, Susan, Veronica, Germain, and Joan Beardsley, and Colleen, Jeanette, Nicholas, Thomas, Jean, Philip, Gerald, and Teresa North request the honor of your presence at the marriage of their parents, Helen Brandmere North to Francis Louis Beardsley, Saturday, the 9th of September, 1961. And I'm sure, I'm sure you'd like to see a family portrait, wouldn't you? Take a look. There's the family. Isn't that a beautiful group? I'm sure I don't have to tell you that you are a very rich family. They're all just wonderful. Sure Absolutely are. wonderful. Number two, what is your real name and what do you really do? Hogan. I'm a bouncer in a beer hall. And number three, what is your real name and what do you do? I am Margo of Margo's Mad Mad Mod Interior. And you kept the story fine. You did a little better than the first round because there were two incorrect votes that you duped them into voting and therefore that's twice $250. You don't argue with hard hands. Total of $500. I'm glad to Goodbye. hear that. And thank you so much for being We enjoyed it and hope you did. Goodbye, and God bless you. I'm busted out of here. Sayonara.